if you're using free software, and first of all, you have a benefit to make sure that that software actually works because you're using it to earn money. And, and yep. uh, that also means if you improve it, right, you will earn more money. And with yep. the beauty of software being non-scarce so that you can just give away that idea and copy it, right, uh, you still retain all the benefits of the new, better version of the software while well, everyone else does too for free. Exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the, also, I think w- w- what's made it especially interesting is uh, security. You know, like the way software security works is quite unique in that it's become based on this idea of you want a system that's secure even if your adversary knows how it works. You know, that, like that, that is a new thing in the entire history of security. Well, that fits perfectly with free software because it actually makes the thing that's free and completely open for anyone to look at, anyone to inspect, anyone to contribute actually more valuable than the alternative. Where you're always wondering, all right, you know, what backdoors have they gone and put into it? You know, for anything where security matters, free software has this almost insurmountable advantage. And it's, you know, it's inherent to the, the free is and freedom aspect of it. You know, it's, it's a quite unique thing. And there aren't good parallels to, you know, to it happening before because software security is just special. <laughs> 